Hi there, Michelle Crafty Servings. So it all start, started with the snowman, all right? Started with the body and the head. And that's what we're, we've been doing on every single fabric creation I made. Now, this is number six that I'm doing today. Oh, of course, my comments went away here. Um, uh, number six that I'm doing today. So um, this was just cute little guy. We're using the same head and the same body pattern. Oh, and I linked my YouTube channel, which has a shortened video of it that shows exactly how, what the pattern is. And um, it's, this is honestly a circle. This is pieces. Okay. So that link is there. If you need otherwise, message me and I can get that. Now, let me set him up here. Can you guess now? Can you guess looking at him? This is the body. This is the head. And I already have it all gathered up. I have this all sewed. Look at the cute teal on here. Hello, Jane. So we are going to cover up this back when I'm done because I was going to do a hat. All right. We are going to... Um, just make them sort of cute. It's not going to uh, hopefully not take too long. We're going to go ahead and um, stitch him on though. Stitch that head on. Um, let me think, Joe. I'm going to stitch the head on first or after. So I cut a heart and I cut the bottom off. Okay, I'd say the heart is probably about one, two, three inches maybe. I cut it like this, just like you always cut hearts. And then I just cut the bottom off. And that's what's going to make this face. So I'm deciding, do I want to put the face on first? Maybe I'll put the face on after. Let's get him sewed on. And then we'll do the face. Okay. And we got other things to sew on him too. All right, I use embroidery floss for sewing. So, and then I have a nice big needle here. I had him planned though for like from the beginning. I would like to do a Cupid yet. And then we got Easter coming. So there's going to be some cute Easter ones, you know, several cute Easter ones that I've got in my head. Um, I just have to get them out, right? I have to get them out of my head. Hello, Kathy. All right, so for the snowman, the head was attached to the body this way. Okay, we're attaching this way, which I did for several more. Well, I really don't have any left here. I, I, I sold them all. I don't have any left to show you. So I did an angel. I did Rudy. I did um, Kringle. And I think I did one more, right? And so anyhow... We need to name this penguin. Think about that. All right, I'm just gonna start it down in here so that that knot is inside. And then I'm just stitching, catching. This honestly can be, this was my gathering. So again, I did it out on a live and I shortened it and got it all good for you out on YouTube. And I have that link. You should be able to see it where you are. That's how we did the head and the body. But so all I'm going to do is I just got that knot inside of there. I'm going to catch some of that fabric there. That's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to do that all the way around. I'm going to catch it there. Make sure it's where I want it to be here. And then I'm going to catch down on the body. Now I did try for the elf. That was the other one. When I tried for the elf, I did try doing it. I did try gluing it. It was not stable enough. The stitching is really what you need to do. So... Um, you know, unless you can figure out a better way that I just didn't feel it was stable enough. So all I'm doing is just catching a bunch of fabric on the bottom. And then I catch a bunch of fabric 
up on this top. That's all I'm doing all the way around. So you can see he's already, I mean, he's getting stable. At least that side's getting stable. And we're going to just do that all the way around. Now I debated on, for the face, doing this teal around the face on here. So we'll see. That's, that's in my head. I think I may end up just gluing it. So, yes, Jerry, the pattern is so versatile. And it's such an easy pattern, right? It's an easy pattern that I showed you all. So if you didn't catch that, you know, go to that link. You'll see um, it's so easy to do, but there's so many things you can do with it. And then just make it your own. Make it like a, like I did it. But if you're a, if you're a creator, um that you come on and show that you did it, you know, just give me some props. So. All right, see how sturdy it's getting already? I'm almost all the way around. I feel like I have to do it two times though. Hello, Barb. I do it two times just to make sure it's stable, but I'm doing bigger stitches the second time and I'm trying to get it really under, under it good. So longer, so I'm sticking it in way over here and it's coming out way over here. So the second time is longer stitches just to give an extra base. And then I'm doing it way underneath. Almost through. And then we'll start decorating on him. All right, he's really, he's really sturdy. He's gonna be cute. And I do like the idea that I did the head first on here before I put the face on, just because sometimes it ends up a little bit wonky when you put the head on. It's not necessarily completely lined up exactly the way you would want. So by putting the face on after, it's going to look pretty good. Like I said, I prepped a lot on this one. I've got most of my cuts out so that it's not as long of a live as what it normally is. Right, let's just cut this one off. Now again, see this on the back, that's gonna be covered. The other thing, so I'm just going to use a piece of the black fabric, and I'll show you that fabric too that I use, the, both the fabrics for this. The other thing that I'm gonna do is when you stitch it, there's a little opening down here. I put little stones in here to give it more stability. I mean, this one's very stable right now, but once you start adding stuff, it might not be quite as, so I stuff little stones in there. You know, so you can get them from Dollar Tree or something or whatever, pick them up. All right, so for this, I'm just going to take, this is the fabric. You can see it's it looks a little bit aged. It has some, yeah, you can see that in here. It has a little bit of color running through it, just a little bit of white running through it. Okay, cut that piece off, but I really want, I want a circle that I'm going to put over the back of this head. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on right away. is really stuck on here. I'm just trying to put this out really out towards the end and cover up that hole just to make it nice, a little nicer in the back. You know, obviously it's not going to be the nicest, but I was going to put a hat on which would have covered it and I decided against the hat. Hello, Rita. All right, so there we go. Let's get these arms done. So I already have one done. We'll glue that after. Let's start on this one. So this was my, oh, I'm going to say, I cut out a very simple arm. I, you can see how I just sketched it. 
And, you know, so just sort of eyeball it. I'm trying to think of what the easiest way to do to cut it. But, you know, if you just eyeball it, this is, this is what I did for the arm. And, and I just eyeballed how it's going to go on here. So then I cut, and let me show you then the two fabrics. I showed you that black fabric, and then this is the white fabric. Isn't that cute? Both of these fabrics that I used for this are Hobby Lobby, but use what you have. Use what you have. Um, you may not like this little pattern in here, but I think it's sort of cute. So that's what we're using. And we're going to just glue this. Flip this back and let's just do a little bit of fabric tack. Messy, messy. All right, so we're just gonna lay this on here and try and line that up the best we can. So I was using fabric tack, the beacon fabric tack. You can get that at a lot of you know at the craft stores. You can get it at Walmart too, I would guess. It dries clear and it's flexible when it dries. So that's what I really like about it. Okay, we're going to let that set up a little bit. And let's just finish this arm. So I finished this arm and we'll do the same with that one is I just stuffed it a little bit and then we're going to glue in here. And then we'll do some of the other pieces while that one fabric tech dries. It doesn't take long to set up, but We'll do that a little bit. And just pinch that together, and this is going to be the arms. All right. That one's pretty good. Might have to go back in and do a little more gluing, but so that's that arm. Let's, while this is setting up yet, let's do just a little bit more. So for the beak, a triangle. That's all I did. I would say it's probably about an inch and a half all the way around. And I cut two of them out of orange felt. Okay. I said I prepped a lot so that you don't have to sit here and painlessly watch me do it. So, and I glued it on three sides. And we're going to do a little stuffing in here too. Get my stuffing box over here. You don't need much because it's not very big. Okay, you guys just check out. All right, so I just added a little stuffing to that beak, and that's going to be the beak. The other thing I cut out, so, so far we have the head and the body, which I linked the snowman video so that you can see it's the same pattern for all six creations that I've done now. All right, same pattern for the head and the body, exact same. Then we did, I showed you the heart I did and then just cut off the bottom. I would say, I wish I had my measuring here. I'm sorry, I don't. I would say it's probably about a three inch heart I did. I cut it like this and I did that with the white fabric. So I did, did that and then I just cut off the bottom. You probably won't even have to cut off the bottom, but I did. And then we have this triangle. I would say it's probably about an inch and a half and this was an arm. Okay, I'm sorry I don't have, I would draw it all out, but I have been struggling trying to figure out how to get it to my computer, which I'm not that bad with computers, but there's some kind of problem, the link between my printer and the computer, and they're both HP, and I don't understand. I've always struggled with that with this, with this printer, and, you know, I don't know why. Okay, the other thing is I just cut out, it looks like a tulip. This is for the feet. All right, it looks like a tulip. I would guess also that this is probably about inch and a half, maybe tall, maybe two inches. It could be even taller than that because this is going to go on the bottom. And for this, I cut out four of them. So I did two at a time so that they match up because I'm not going to stuff them or anything. I'm just going to glue them so that they're a little bit thicker. So we're going to go ahead and do that now.
Like I said, I'm not stuffing them so we can go all the way around. Like I said, they could be longer because then you just, and then you just space them out. They can be whatever shape you want. But honestly, this is, yeah, I did a tulip shape. So that might be an easy way to explain it. You could fold it in half, and I'll show you. That's actually what I did. I'll show you my paper again. A lot of things when I cut them, if they're going to be similar side to side, I fold it in half, or I actually sketch the whole thing, and I look at which side I like better and fold it in half and cut on that sketching. That's what I do for a lot of them. So this is what I did. This was my pattern. I cut it, I folded it, and I cut it like that, if that helps. But I know you could do a lot cuter feet. The other cute feet. Oh, now that I think about it, I should have done something different. It would have been really cute. And I'm giving you this idea in case you want to do it. It would have been really cute doing the same thing. But then um, do, do like jute legs coming off of him with spools on or beads on and let them hang down when he's sitting. That would be so cute. That would be adorable. Yes. Somebody actually sent me, and, I, and I, I'm trying to think of her of who it was. Somebody sent me, they did a rabbit with it, and I told her, that's on my list. She did the cutest rabbit, too. Um, she did a rabbit and a snowman. And, yep, Easter is on my list. A rabbit is on my list. A lamb is on my list. Um, there was another one for Easter too. That's on my list. So yeah, absolutely. There's going to be a gnome on my list too. I have to do this as a gnome too. All right. So this is just going to go underneath and you're going to, then you can see that out there. So we could probably put that on right away. I want to make sure you can see the feet. And I'm just going to do the, just the little back part of this. Actually, do both of them right away. We can always add more glue up higher if it sits back farther. We can certainly do that, but for right now, this will work. All right, I'm just going to eyeball these. Perfect. Let's just twist them a little bit so you see the separation of the feet. All right, so we got that again. I left a little space here, so I'm going to be able to put stones in to make them more stable. But he's very stable. He, he's actually one of the most stable ones I've made. All right. Let's finish this arm. This should be... Good enough. We don't need much fiber fill in here. Just bring that down in there. We'll take this is just push a little of that up in there. Should be easier with a pencil. Glue just a little. Well, I'm gonna glue just a little farther. We don't need all that space. All right, we'll let that sit again, and we'll finish doing that. Let's do the face. So again, I debated it's the heart. I'm looking at what is the front side. I think this is. Did you come up with a name yet, too? Oh, Happy Feet. Oh, oh, that would be cute. So I debated on actually doing this teal stitching on here or just tacking it down. What do you think? Should I do teal stitching on there? That would be sort of cute. And then it would. It would match 
with with that. You know what I can do is maybe just do little little cross hatches, maybe like little X's. Percy would be a cute name. So if I'm gonna be stitching them, I should pin a little, but I'm afraid the pin marks might show. So I'm just gonna try and get him really even. We'll start at the bottom. You know, my laser was down again, but Mr. Crafty Servings worked on it again this weekend, and I think he felt better about after he was done with it this time. All right, let me just, so what I'm going to do is start the stitch, um, start the stitch inside of here on this black. And under farther where you won't see it, because I don't want to see that knot. All right. Don't want to see a knot. I'll lay it on here and see if I can get him lined up. And let me just, so I'm going to come up through here. I feel like I should just do like little X's. What do you think? I think little X's. So, but I can do that. Let's see if I do this. Trying to see the easiest way that I can do for you guys. So I think I'm going to go up this way. Get that stitch in there that I don't want to see. Now I could glue it, but I don't want to go through any of the glue with my needle because that would be way too hard. All right, let me just try going. So I'm going down into the black, and then I'm going to come back up through the white and just try and get a stitch. So I'll show you a little better when I'm doing this. That would be cute. What do you think if I do X's with it? I think that would be sort of cute, doing little X's like it's X'd on. Let me, I can always pull this. And let me do another X over here. It might be more difficult for me. Yeah, I, I don't know that you're going to necessarily see that it's an X. Let me pull a stitch tighter or looser. Look at that X on there. I can't really see that it's an X. Let's just try it again. And go up through there. So I'm just creating the X with the needle. And I'm going to come back down. Oh, I think that'll be cute. And then I'm going to come back up in a little bit farther away. It's not going to be X's right next to each other. That's going to be sort of cute on there, isn't it? It's going to look hand stitched on there. So let's, so I'm just going to go down and create that X. And now I got to come straight up because I got to get it to come across this way. And then we're going to go there. And we're going to end up coming up. Let's go up a little ways. That's going to be cute. That's going to be cute. All right, so let's go across. So I'm just creating axes. So you might have to think about it when you're doing it. You know, whatever works. When you bring it up, when you bring it up here, you, you want one side to go across here, so then when you bring it across, you almost have to come straight up so you can come up, back across. I'm sorry, I don't know how else to explain it. But if you start doing it and you don't like it, you can always take the needle out of the end and pull those stitches out and try it again. All right, and we're going to come up here. I hope I've got him straight. Oh goodness, I don't. 
Let's bring him over here. That would be the only I should have thought of that. Okay. So we got that down there, and we're going to bring this up here. And you can just take that needle and move that stitch a little. And I think if you go out a little farther on that black, you're going to see more of that X. It'll make a little bit bigger X. Let's go a little farther out on, on there. Okay, I think that's good. And then we just do it up there. I think that's going to be really, really cute. All right, so let's X that over here. So you just need, you want to make sure you get off onto the black a little bit farther, and then you're going to see. Okay, so am I going to X this way? I think so. I'm going to X this way. So that I didn't have to have the X that close together. All right. And then let's do an X here. Let's go across here. So again, you just have to think about it. Let's see, do I want it this way? No, we'll do it here. You just have to think about it and just play with it a little bit. And come back here and then I'm gonna go across over to this side I don't think I need anything in the middle there let's make sure he's staying straight <laughs> if he's not it's okay so we come up with another name all right so let's go off over here let's picture where he's gonna go off over here No, let's go X that way. So we'll go here. I'm just trying to see like the distance, like where this one was. So that looks a little bit similar over there. Okay. Got that. And then I'm just bringing it up back over here, giving some space. I think I need pull that up a little. Come across. You can just think about it as you're doing it, and you'll get your X's. You can always take the needle off, pull that string, and do it again if it doesn't look right. The X that you made, whatever stitch you made, if you don't like it, you're not going to be able to pull the needle through the fabric, but you take the needle off and then just restring it. That's just really, look at him. That's really cute. What do you think? What do you guys think? Do you think that? Pretty cute with the X's. Thank you. X there. Oh, let's see how do I want to do it. I'll do it down here. I think we can do one more X here. Oh. You know what? I'm going to try and match it a little bit with the last one. So now I just took my needle off and I pulled that string out. Because look at how the two, I, I'm going to have it a little similar. So I need closer together here. You like the X's? Awesome. So I didn't plan on taking that long on this one, but I just think the X's do add to it. Okay, let's put these two are going to be a little closer together. And that gives me room for one more X. Oh, I went the wrong way. See what I mean? You can just take your string off, pull it back out. My X wasn't the direction I wanted it.
Let's do this again. All right, if I do the X that way or this way, the X this way. And then I need the string over here. There we go. So can you think about it or pull the needle out? All right, and I've got one room for one more X here. You can certainly glue this on too. Certainly glue it on too. All right, so that's gonna go down there. And then I need it to come up there. And back down here. All right, and then I gotta figure out how to knot this off so we're not gonna see it. Okay, so I'm bringing it back down and then I'm just catching the fabric underneath. I had just enough string on here too. We're gonna try and knot it off underneath. So I'm just pulling it through and leaving this little loop here and then putting the needle back through there and see if that won't do a knot underneath. I think that's good. I don't want, it's not gonna go really underneath, but I'll try and do one more. Maybe not to the needle off. Okay. Let's finish this arm. Well, I thread my needle fast because it's a big eye on the needle. It's a very big eye on the needle. You have to do that though when you're using the embroidery um, floss. You have to do that. You don't need a whole lot inside of here. Just some to get the arms to stick out a little bit from the body. And I think we're going to get away with just fabric glue to put the arms on. I just pull it tight, let it set up a little bit. We're almost done. We're gonna add a scarf and we need to patch. We need his name yet. You know, his name could be Stitches. I don't know if that's appropriate for a penguin though. All right, so one arm is gonna go on here and I think we can glue it. I really think we can glue it. Isn't he cute? He's gonna be cute. All right, and then the, the face also, we're gonna glue. So let's get the eyes over here. We're gonna put the eyes on. I just did little ovals for the eyes. Okay, and that's felt. Okay, little felt ovals. And then this beak we did before too. And that's gonna go on there. PJ Penguin, that's a cute name. And we can't have too long because I am stamping. We got, I got my stamps out again. My favorite set of stamps. I'm just slanting them a little bit, just to give them a little cuteness. Percy is a cute name. Somebody said happy before. I'm 
trying to do this without getting it all over my fingers. Okay. So now I stuff that. I'm going to try and just glue this on here. You could end up maybe stitching it, but I think I think it's going to work gluing. I'm going to put it a little bit on top of those eyes. Pug, puggy? Pug, pudgy? Pudgy or puggy? All right, we got to come up pretty soon. Oh, that's this fabric tack dries clear. So that's why I don't mind using this. Hopefully a little underneath here. And I'm pushing him in a little bit so he's a little pudgy with the with the eyes. All right, let's get these arms on here. I'm just going to glue the top section of the arms. We have several Percy. We could do Percy. Was that a cartoon or like a Disney? Just curious. I see. Okay, now we also, so now this is going to be the background. Now I'm going to use a little of the white we're going to stamp on. He's got to get his nose back on here good. We got to do a scarf. And then we'll use that same, we'll use, we'll stamp on white and we'll use a piece of that scarf fabric. Now it's gotta be, a, it's gotta be a little skinnier. So let's, so I would say this is probably that I'm cutting now is probably about an inch and a half then for the scarf. It was just a little bulky and it was like covering too much of his body coming down. And I don't want that. You gotta see how cute he is. Right, let's try this again. There, that's better. And we're gonna cut this off. There. He's cute. He's cute. All right, then we're gonna take a piece of this. See if I get a good piece we'll use as a background of that stamp. I really want this light color in there. What if we go this way? Okay, and we'll trim this up yet, but let's get the stamp. Oh, this is, we're gonna stamp on this white. Put him up here. Just take a piece. This is the white that was the belly and the face. And we got my favorite stamps. Now I did not link these, but if you want a link to these stamps, just let me know. 
I'm a maker with close to my heart and give you a direct link for these stamps. These are my favorite. I used them on every one of them, right? I used them on every one of them. And I got a black stamp pad today. All right, let's use a capital P. A little E. And I'm going to put them a little crooked and a little, little funny E. Let's do a big R. R, P, E, R. Down a little bit. R, C, Y, C, Y. So let's do a little C. And a capital Y. All right, and then you can see through the black. Oh, that's going to be cute. Can you see that? Cute, cute, cute. Some of my letters came off here. It was the big E. Maybe it wanted to be used. All right, let's see what kind of stamp. Oh, I don't have my cleaner. I'm not getting up. I'll clean it after. So just get some ink on here. Oh, he's going to be cute. So I will use a wet wipe to get that off, but of course I don't have that here. And this fabric is so easy because it's got the um, the squares and stuff to follow that you can cut it nice and straight. Where I normally tear my fabric, but this one is a little not quite as rustic as needing to be tore like the snowman. The garland does match him. Oh, it does. All right, we're going to glue that on here because that's going to look how cute that's going to be on there with that little bit of teal in the back. We're going to glue it and then we'll cut the tr trim around it. All right, let's finish putting him on here. Okay, so this I'm going to put down. I'm going to put Percy down here, right? I think he'll be perfect down there. And then I've got one last touch. I think it's a button. I think. Thank you, April. I appreciate that. Percy, get you lined up on there. I'm going to pull them over a little bit so we see a little of the white on that side. There we go. Thank you. Cute, cute, cute. All right, there's Percy. And then um, let's see what that one we're going to put on. So I do have one that's not a button. Oh, you know, that's a button. I have these from Sweet Friend, I think Linda. Sent me these little snowflakes with pearls. I thought that would be really cute on there. That would be adorable on there. Yeah, I could do, otherwise I could do like just a little, little like that. But I think, I think we put the snowflake on here. What do you think? Let's do snowflake. We're going to use hot glue for that. So it stays on. I was actually going to put a little button down on here, but I'd have to get up again. Just a little little brown button, like my little buttons, you know, that I like. 
That would be really cute. All right, what do you think of Percy? What do you think of him? Did he turn out cute? Again, the same body as that snowman. Fabric creation number six. Turned out simply cute. Simply adorable. So, same body and head as my number one snowman that I did. Same body and head. So, cute, cute, cute. All right. I should thank you. Thank you. There's more to come, too. There's, like I said earlier, there's uh, several Easter ones that I'm thinking of. Um, I was going to do a Cupid. We'll see if I get a uh, Valentine one out yet. Because that'll be, I think it'll be, no, not necessarily easy, but it would be sort of cute, too. So, um, but we definitely got, and we got more even beyond Easter. We got more, more to come. So I'm excited about these. I think they just turned out so cute. So 